How's it going, you guys? Elliot here. Hope you guys are doing okay. Welcome back to Patreon monthly request chat where my Patreon night class subscribers recommend me any K pop, any dance, any K pop dance video for me to react, analyze, laugh, as long as it's not kind of weird. But we have fun here. If you guys would like to join, join the night class. It's in the, the patreon link is in the description below really appreciate it and let's have fun okay next we have sonia fan sony fan says if i'm not too late i wanted to ask for mcnd's top gang dance practice but this version has a really dope dance break added on at a begin at the beginning dance break at the beginning one. so it doesn't usually start exactly like that and i like that it showcases their dancing more all that is to say that I thought Top Gang's choreography is interesting because they showcase each of their solos so much. And I figured you could maybe share your thoughts on their individual styles since the camera is so zoomed out and they have to command that entire big empty practice room on their own. Very dope. Hope you enjoy, especially after liking Ice Age. Ice Age, okay? Sonya fan. Hold on, I got a text. Sonya fan, okay? Ice Age was dope. MC and D? are like just just talking about the new wave of choreography within the uh next generation of, of k-pop groups mc and d is like there okay so top gang with solos i'm interested you got me hooked all right you got me you got me here sony fan this one's for you this is special choreography practice sparkle mc and d top gang dance break version dance breaks in the beginning hmm. okay maybe i need to raise the volume Ooh. nice textures Okay. So I'm seeing D, they're all hard hitters for sure. And they're, I guess that's it, the textures, come on. Okay, let's get it. Shout out to the bottom of the middle. Alright, so this first guy, hella swag. Hella swag and hits. This guy has a nice pocket. The chemistry between those two? These guys just have a dumbass amount of swag. And I and I'm living for it. I love how they all have different styles. They are also similar, yet they have these slight nuances that differ that differentiates them from one another. This guy has a showman, showman like quality. This guy's textures are just off the charts. Like, compared to the others, he's way more controlled. He's super articulated. And very, very clean. A ton of clarity. Ton of hype coming from this man. Now I'm just glued into watching the guy in the middle. 
They're all dope, don't get me wrong. All dope. They all pass. But then when you get past this level and you have to really, really, really dive deep into their movement to, to see the differences. But the guy in the middle is like on another level. All great though. Top gang, okay? Loved it, okay? I love the solos. I would love to see more solos coming from all dancers with one another basically like a more like a session so like a session if you guys only dance you know when dancers come together and they just kind of like feed off each other but they like solo one after another just kind of like vibing from the energy i love this type of video because they're literally all in the same room moving one after another feeding off a dancer i love watching solo videos don't get me wrong but i love it when you know that there is the presence of the other dancer there too so you could tell that they're automatically swayed by that next by that person's energy before they go up so i would love to see more like session type videos which is very rare that you get to see but when i do get to see them i cherish them so much because I love watching chemistry within groups and I love watching solos. So watching those two together is dope. this top gang. This was sick. This that slight level change. Watch this one. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, right. All on point. Slight level change. All on point. And they all have a great idea of control. They're all big in their own way, especially when you watch them freestyle. But when they come together as, as a group, they know when to tone it down or push up. This guy has heck of swag. I'm glad they put him first because he definitely set the set the vibe of the choreography. When you want to go up, when you're first, you have to set the stage. You have to set the tone, which is a difficult task to do. Listen to this guy's musicality. Listen to this guy's musicality. Musicality. He has a beautiful pocket. Like, listen to this guy's musicality, and he's very specific on the on the on the sounds that he hits, and he's very specific on the type of movement that he hits with those specific specific sounds, and the way they transition from one another. So, like, keeping it in the pocket, it's very negligible that you, that you could see what he's doing. Versus this guy, which is like super swaggy, which is dope too, but just watch that. So he goes like, click. Then he breathes. Real dope releases. That move was sick. Oh, I like how they hit a 360 kick. This guy has a showman-like quality. He just knows how to sway with the lyrics and also like talk. He's very like conversational with his movement. Just watch how crisp this guy is. And watch his footwork. Watch how he fully extends
This is what I mean by like texture. I'm watching that again. Like I said, all great dancers. This guy, textures are super difficult. Super controlled. I'm like shaking my head. Cause this guy, he like came. He just came with it. He was like, no, I'm gonna, <laughs> I came here to fuck it up because not only are my guys, not only are my, okay, hold on. He came, he came, he came to get it, okay? Because he was like, not only are my teammates real great dancers, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta show up too. So like, just that idea, that thought process of seeing him in his own realm, sick, okay? So, moving on. This guy's real big on his movement, in a good way. Like I said, with the choreography, they all dance differently when you see them, but when they come back with this choreography, they are synchronized again. <sighs> mm. That's like a roll off to a connected Well done. MC and D top gang, fire, okay? There's nothing else for me to say. Hey, Sonya fan, great. Keep it coming with the MC and D, um, with the MC and D suggestions, I love it. Okay, this next generation. Okay, so that being said, <laughs> like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, okay? Comment, who is your favorite? All these guys are great. Like I said, Dance is a subjective art form. Me, I love control, okay? And I'm just a big fan of it, just because it's it's super difficult. However, what is your favorite? Some people may have different thoughts. Some people enjoy the, en the enthusiasm part, the showmanship part, big moves. What is your favorite? Comment down below, we'd definitely love to hear it. Okay, and what are these guys' names, all right? Let me know. There's so many names I need to catch up on, but it's so hard. Even learning 17s was diff difficult for me. <laughs> but let me know, okay? I'd love to hear what you, would love to hear you guys' feedback, okay? Guys, MC and D. If you guys stand MC and D, you guys are standing the next generation of like K-pop dance, okay? <laughs> Alright, so that's about it for me. Oh, and subscribe if you like to see more content of mine. And if you guys would like to support this Patreon, Patreon in the link. The link is in the description down below. Really helps us out. Keeps this channel rowing and growing. Would love to have your guys' support. And if not, that's okay. All of this is perfectly optional. We just have fun over there. And with that being said, this is Elliot. See you guys next time. Bye.